This agenda obviously has impacted Texas so much and the country. Uh, Governor, is there anything you can do about it? You were also talking about the administration wanting to remove the state's ownership and overseeing of elections with this H.R. 1. Can you do anything about it to not get the election oversight taken from the state of Texas with H.R. 1? A absolutely. Uh, Murray, you may remember that before uh, I was governor, I was the attorney general of Texas. And uh, when the Obama administration tried doing things like this, uh, I filed 31 lawsuits against the Obama administration. Uh, the strongest tool that we have uh, is the litigation tool. Uh, and when you look at some of the things that they're talking about uh, with regard to H.R. 1, they're trying to institutionalize voter fraud uh, in the United States of America. Uh, they want to make mail-in ballots permanent. Everyone knows, and including Democrats in Texas, have said uh, that one of the easiest way uh, to cheat in elections is through these mail-in ballots. Uh, they want to make it harder to uh, require the use of voter ID. They want to protect ballot harvesting. Real quickly, let me tell you an amazing story, because it was Barack Obama himself who knew about the dangers of ballot harvesting in the state of Texas, because under his administration, he sent his uh, U.S. attorney for the Southern District of Texas, as well as the FBI, to South Texas uh, to arrest and to prosecute people who were involved in uh, ballot harvesting that were using cocaine to buy votes through the ballot harvesting process in the state of Texas. It, it is a way to commit voter fraud, and it cannot be allowed. This is absolutely extraordinary, Governor. Thanks very much for sharing this very important information. We, of course, will keep a spotlight on this subject, uh, voter integrity. Governor, good to see you this morning. Thanks very much. Our prayers are with you, Thank you and your leadership. Uh, on this crisis at the border. Governor Greg Abbott, we'll see you soon, sir. Thanks very much. We will take a short break when we come back.